Okay, now we'll discuss how to create a sample program using the JWC drive type four driver. So, what are the basic steps uh, to create? Before that, we we'll just create a new class. You we'll just name it JWC uh, test. Hello, and then and then finish. So what are the steps? The first is we need to load the driver, whatever the driver that you are using, if it's MySQL or Oracle. Let's just write here. I would say load the driver. Uh, let's just do this. Load driver. Establish the connection. Okay. And then create statement. Execute queries. And handle if you have any errors in it. Handle any errors. So these are the basic steps that we need to follow. So JDBC is load the driver, whatever the driver that you are using, establish the connection with it, and then create the statement and then execute the queries and then handle any errors. So now let's see a sample one. How to load the driver? To load the driver, the basic, the first thing that we need to know is what is the driver that you want to load to. My driver is MySQL. So I would be using class dot for name of driver. So this is what I would be using in here. Okay. And I would say add rows declaration. Okay, so what does the class dot for name? I I have to provide the uh, you are uh, the dri the URL to the driver. So what is that for me? Com dot my SQL dot JDBC dot driver. So this is my how I load the driver, and then I need to establish the connection to this driver. I establish the connection using the driver manager. So I have to use the driver manager. So first to establish the connection, what I need to have? I need to have a URL, a user ID, and a password. User ID and a password is the one that we use to connect it to the MySQL workbench. Okay, now how to establish the connection? We use connection, connection is equal to driver manager dot get the connection okay driver manager dot get the connection and I would select third here you would say see get connection string URL user ID and password and it throws a SQL exception just in case it doesn't access so this is the throw SQL exception if a database access error occurs okay I would select this so what is the URL? Because I am using uh, MySQL, my URL is jdbc colon mysql colon slash localhost 3306. Okay, and then what is the user ID? root is my user ID and my password is 1819 ok save import connection we I need to add the throws declaration for the SQL exception ok so I did not. Uh, you have to import the Java dot SQL dot SQL exception. That is have to be imported. Okay. Now I have uh, can use the throws keyword using the SQL exception because it, it, this statement establishing the connection might cause an uh, error to access the database. Now. If you have more than one schema, if you have more than one schema, I have test web app. Now I want to access 
a table inside test schema in specific. Then I need to provide after the URL, I need to provide the schema. I will say test. Test is my schema. So this is how I establish the connection. Now create statement. What statements? We have different statements. Create, prepared statement, uh, callable statement. I have to use prepared statement. Prepared statement statement is equal to we'll use the connection object connection dot I prepare the statement okay and what does it accept it accept the string SQL which throws a SQL exception again so SQL statement that may contain one or more so I would say this and what is it you have to create it create a statement what create or select DDL DML we'll be discussing more after that but this is just a basic one so I'll just say select star select star from user details we'll import the wrong one again here I guess that is error that is just giving me import java dot sql dot prepare statement Okay, so I can just remove this. Okay, prepared statement. Now I need to execute the query. I execute the query using the result set. Result set Java dot SQL result set result is equal to I use the statement object statement dot execute the query the statement dot execute query what it does executes a SQL query in this prepared statement object and returns the result set object generated by the query so this execute query returns a result set object so we have created a result set result is equal to using the prepared statement object dot execute the query Okay, so and then um, uh, let me see if I have to handle any errors or not. But if I want to print, what exactly it is now before going into print, let me just write few statements here so that I know my driver has been loaded. Driver loaded successfully. Okay, and then here I will say connection established okay driver is loaded connection is established and then I've gone to prepare set now if I want to print each and every uh, content of line that's in my table how do I do it I do it using the result set object that is uh, I'll just we know the basic concepts we I'll just say result set result set object dot next so it will loop into it and it will bring me each and every column value so I will say while result dot next it moves the cursor forward one row from its current position so a result set cursor is initially positioned before the first row so I would say next because I want it from first row and in here what I want to print exactly let me just go okay in here what I would want I would say I know I have uh, in here three columns okay three columns and uh, both all the three are strings and same out using the result set object result set dot get the string value okay and the column index I would be using int column index value I would say 1 okay and plus slash d plus results set to okay and then plus result set of 3 so when I click run as 
it is showing me error. What is the error that it is showing me? It says class not found exception. So when you click on it, it says com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. Oh my god! Click here and select and select D. Com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. It's case sensitive, so uh, careful. Do please do not do mistakes and then run as Java application. So what you see here. Driver is loaded successfully. Connection is established. When you click one, uh, sorry, the first row one, she can go to two, Anusha got to. When you have to verify one, she can go to two, and how we uh, established the connection to MySQL using JDBC and we have used type 4 driver. I hope this session is helpful. Thank you.